we have a supernatural enemy. I have been moved by this because in my preparations, I ran across again that old verse near the end of First John that says the whole world lies under or in the power of the evil one. And it hit me like it never had before that the world is absolutely defenseless against the devil. They have zero defenses against the supernatural power of the devil. And he hates them. He hates marriage. He hates people. He hates God. He hates churches. He hates you. And without the Word of God, we have zero defense. None. Do you believe that? None. He's, he's called the God of this world for a reason. He rules absolutely except where God's providence restrains him. And oh, believe me, God's providence is restraining him big time everywhere. And nobody knows what mercy they are enjoying when the sun comes up. Or this land of ours holds together another day. First John 5, 19, the whole world lies in the power of the devil. But listen to this alternative, glorious statement from 1 John chapter 2, verse 14. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome the evil one. Now, what's the connection there? It's not just men that this applies to. He just happens to be writing to the men works both ways because the issue is the word. Read it again. I write to you, young man, I write to you, Bethlehem, because you are strong. How are you strong? In yourself? Ha! Huh. Against the devil? No way. Because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome the evil one. That's how we overcome. When the word of God is abiding in us, it's the Word of God, gives life, defeats the devil. It's our only hope.